So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know that my channel is mostly about filmmaking and like the video side of things. But today I thought it would be a cool idea to do more of a photography video. And yesterday I went on a photo shoot and I think the photos actually turned out pretty good. I haven't looked at them yet. They're all on this SD card. Um, so I'm going to go plug in this SD. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to look through what's on this SD card and I'm going to show you how I go from SD card to posting on Instagram. So the first part that I actually go through, and this part actually takes longer than you think, is searching through all the bad photos because chances are there's going to be a lot of bad photos. And like, look, most of these at the beginning, you're just warming up, getting them confident, and they're bad. So um, I'm going to look through those photos, sort through the good ones, and then we're going to edit them from there. Oh, no, I'll do the one with the, the more centered one. Are you sure? Okay, and then I'll edit those ones? Yes, those are the ones that I screenshot. Okay. Like seven. Okay, perfect. I'll have them done soon. Like, I should have them done within a few hours. You're kidding. What? <gasps> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, and I'm, I'm making a video right now, so you can watch me oh edit them. God. Okay, I'll, I'll call you later with the photos. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, so now that I've taken the time to go through all the photos and choose all the good ones, now what I do, the first step to actually editing these photos is to highlight them all and open them up into Photoshop. We just go through and make all the necessary corrections like exposure and um, highlights and everything like that. Okay, so now that I've edited the exposure and adjusted the highlights and shadows to make sure that none of them are clipped, I just open these up and I start working on my actual edits like blemishes or discoloration, those type of things. And this usually takes up the most time. Here, she actually has like no imperfections on her face. There's just a little bit of acne at the top, but we can get rid of that in no time in Photoshop. So that's what I do to all my photos. I just give a little clean up to their face. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished editing all the photos, doing all the touch-ups, and getting rid of all the blemishes and everything, and now for my favorite part, which is coloring and sort of grading these photos in Lightroom. So if we look at what I've done, and I just did the basic edits so that her skin looks more clear, and imperfections from like these rocks on her legs are gone, and her legs are all smooth now, and then I just added in a little feathered mask um, to brighten her up to isolate her from the background. So now I'm gonna take all these and jump into Lightroom. Now that I have all my photos in Lightroom, now I just like to look for the photo that has most of all the colors that I'm gonna be working with. So since we're working with reds and greens, I'm looking for a photo out of all of them that kind of matches the whole red and green aesthetic versus like this one that's purple and that purple doesn't really like match like the aesthetic that I'm going for. I really like this one. I think I'm gonna edit this one. And I don't really use Lightroom presets, I kind of just go for whatever vibe I'm feeling like that comes at me. But um, for today, I think the colors are actually really nice. So I'm just gonna add some basic contrast and tweak the colors just slightly. Bump up the contrast. The exposure is pretty good where it is. Bring those up a little. Actually, no, I don't wanna bring those up. Um, the shadows. The shadows actually look good brought down a little bit. I might bring up the whites just a bit. Maybe you can see like before and after. It just adds a nice contrast. Here, here are the colors. We can look at the reds. Let's see what it looks like changed a little bit. I might switch it to a little bit of a pinkish. Um, the greens, those are mostly yellows. So we're gonna change the yellows and see how that looks. No, I don't really like that. So one of my favorite things is these wheels. We're gonna play with this a little bit. I think it looks better in the teals. Gonna just do subtle changes. And then in the midtones, we're gonna bring it up in the opposite direction, maybe in the oranges. Like we're trying to match her skin tone here. So it's right there and we'll bring it down just a bit. 
But look, before and after. I'm already starting to like this vibe. I just kind of go with whatever fits. Um, there's only like two colors mainly in this. Well, actually three, there's like orange, red, and green. But um, yeah, so with that photo, I think it's almost done like texture. It's something that I never really play with. It kind of like, just maybe a little, just on her dress there. Clarity, when you play with clarity too much, it gets gross. So we're just gonna slight adjustments. Dehaze, add some haze, dehaze. It's just adding more contrast. I think we can just add a little bit. Vignette, a vignette looks nice, but I don't want to go too harsh, just like a little. Grain is not really something that I would put like on this type of photo. Um, it's nice for like some photos if you're going for like an older aesthetic, but for this, I think I like just the sharp defined look. Noise reduction a little bit and sharpening up. There we go. So that's looking pretty good to me. I don't know if I'm going to stay with this edit. I might come back to it later, but that's pretty much all I do for editing. I can always come back to it. But then for all the other photos, I pretty much stay with the same vibe that I'm going with this one. So here I would just paste on the same things and adjust it, but everything looks pretty similar because I already edited the exposure and everything in Photoshop. So everything already looks pretty much all the same. So now I just go and paste it onto every single of the photos and it looks pretty good already so we just do that and we can do minor adjustments but this honestly looks really good to me I might do a few more things Ooh, I really like the colors in this one but for this one um, we we saw a bee in the flower and um, the flower happened to be purple I want to move it to more of like a red tone to match the others that looks pretty good to me but yeah that's pretty much it for how I edit photos from the SD card all the way to Instagram so all I would do now is just move these to my phone and um, upload them to Instagram <laughs> So if you've liked this video, if it's helped you, if you like want to use some of these things for yourself, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll try and post more often now that my school is coming to an end. I've been really busy lately, so that's why I haven't been posting that much. But um, yeah, I do enjoy making these videos. And um, if you didn't know, I do have Instagram. It's um, right there. So if you want to check it out, um, check out my Instagram. It's at Ryan Ray. And I'll see you in the next video. Is it thundering outside? I think there's a thunderstorm outside. Well, I gotta go send these off to Desiree, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay.